hi guys and welcome you into this video so in today's tutorial i want to show you how to design a real estate website right you can see this is an advanced real estate site i will guide you step by step on how you can be able to set this up for your clients or maybe for personal use or for your business i will show you how you can be able to set this up you know and go ahead and um you can charge 500 to a thousand dollars to get this done for your clients okay within five to ten minutes you should be able to set this up okay so stay tuned you can see this is a very very awesome and beautiful website it has so so many features okay you can see um we on um, on this particular we have the um, project page where you got to see um the project that related to this um real estate you know business there are a lot of um, um projects here and um, we all know that real estate is a is a, a platform it involves buying and selling of properties right it can be land it can be buildings and the rest of them okay and uh, on the property section we also you get to see properties that are available for rent or for you know selling you get to see all this information right here and the awesome part of it is that there is also a, a, a life map on them on the, each of these properties that can you know you can track um, the location of the property right so on the agent page you also have agents who are affiliated to this um, um, business right you can sign off as an agent and also create properties you list them for sale or for rent, right so it's so so awesome on the news page you also have it's more like a blog page you know where you post articles relating to any kind of buildings too you know so it has so so we have the um, careers and um, we also have um, the um, contacts where you get to see the contact informations okay let's see what we have here okay yeah this way the admin of the sites provide the um contact information probably you want to reach out to them it can be in terms of support and the rest of them sorry about that okay so back to the um, home page of the site um back to the home page of the site so you can see um this home page we have the projects we have the sale here we have the rent you no know, so any kind of um probably anyone you want to go for let's say you want uh, if you want to, uh, you want to go for sale what you do here is just type in the keyword and um, also the city you kind of search okay so let's say um uh you can say um uh, let's say you want to let me just scroll down let me just scroll down to see something 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 uh, let's just copy this right here you can just okay let me look for osaka heights apartments okay let's see we can type that right here sorry okay so this is it when you type this in and you can see this is this particular apartment will open up you can see this you get to see this particular property is selling okay this property is selling and you can see the uh, information needed you can see the number of rooms the description and um, on this section you also see the agent that is probably listing this property um for sale right so you can reach out to the agent and um, what you do is just provide your your name your information and submit then he will take it from there so this is really, really awesome this is really awesome you also get to see the location a map you know feature that tells you where the location of the property is right so this is really awesome this is an advanced real estate website right so quickly to um to get started first thing to do is you um you you sign up right so when you click on the login section you can if you already have an account you log in you log in but if you don't have an account just come down to this station and click on register a new account you provide this information but i already have um i've already created an account so i'll quickly go ahead and log in so to log in is your username or your email and this is my email right here so i'll go ahead and put in my password okay once that has been done i'll click on login okay 
um, before I forget, before I forget, um, let me quickly go back. Uh, okay, you can see we also have a language feature. You can you know select any language that you're probably working on, and you can also there are so so cool cool features. Okay, so back to um, back to our um, user dashboard. Um, this is the um, this is an agent account. This when you log in, this is what the dashboard looks like. On this section, you get to see properties which have been approved, pending approved properties, and also rejected properties. Right. So on the property section, this is where an agent um, can you know create a property maybe available for sale. Right. So what you do here is just putting the name of the property and. Um, um, putting the type is it for sale or for rent, right? So you put in a short description of what the property is all about. And on this content, same goes for this content on the image. This is where you upload images of the um, um, of the property, right? Um, select country, state, you know, um, all this information. Take your time, go through it, and you provide all this. Okay, just like uh, one that I already created before. Um, when we click on edit, let's see the informations right here. You can see that, right? So this is really awesome. And it also has a language feature. You can when you click on Arabic now, everything right here will be translated to Arabic, right? So this is really cool. Okay, so you provide all this information. You can provide all this information if it's selling or not available or you know for rent and the status of the you know the property, you can provide that right here this one that has been created before so that's how you can go ahead and list your property for sale or for rent right so on the buy credit section um, this way you get to you know before you list any any of your properties for sale you, as, a, as a user or as a client to the website or as an agent to the site you actually need to buy you know a credit and we already have a free first um, credit or post rather this particular plan you already you can only make one post but when you go ahead and buy more credits you'll be allowed to make a, a more post and you can see what is actually cost a single post cost this five posts cost this okay this is what it might cost so um that is on the invoice section you say you um be this way an invoice will be offered to you probably after you have you know um or when you're about to make um, purchase rights for that. So on the settings section, this is where you set up your um, account information. Okay, you put in your information right here, and same for the profile picture. You can change the profile picture right here. So let me quickly log into the admin and let's see let's see what the admin end looks like. Well, logging into the admin end is always your domain name slash admin, right? So. Um, let me log out. Yeah, so your domain name slash admin. When you click on this, you will be this is what the login admin or admin page looks like. You go ahead and sign in. Okay, I've already provided this information, so you can see this is really awesome. So on the real estate section, as an admin, on that real estate, you go to properties. As an admin of the site, this is where you get to create properties. Okay, you can see these ones we have already created already, but when you click on create. Um, you go ahead and provide same information just like the way uh, an agent also creates properties that's how you go about it you add images and lots more there are so so many features right here right so um, same goes for projects you can you can modify the projects related to this um, real estate company you can modify all this information just click right here and um, edit all these this information right here is just it's very very easy to go about you can remove image you can add more image right so on features what do you have under features um okay let me okay these are um different features um that we attached we have the swimming pool garden and the rest of them and when you click on edit you can go ahead and edit you know this this particular um, feature add image and lots more there are so so many information right here on investors what do you have right here you get to see okay people that you know sign up the investors that might sign up um, on this site you get to see all these informations you know 
or uh, or investment that are uh, investors that are actually invested in this company you get to see the information right here same goes for your reviews you know you get to see the reviews of clients that are actually working on this site you can go ahead and edit or approve and also part of it they can approve before the review itself will appear on your site okay so this is really awesome this is really awesome on the payment section okay on the pages we have this way you get to see all the pages on this site right so we have the projects properties cookies and the rest of them okay you can go ahead and edit any of this page then when you click on the edit button you can go ahead and edit all this information you know and i'm putting yours right so that's it quickly on the blog site i believe blog is just like a news article so i'll head straight to the payment payment section on the payment section this way you get to see okay uh many payments that was actually initiated this way you get to see that right here okay? so same goes for the um payment method these are the payments method available right these are the payments method available users can pay through their pay stack paypal you know and also they can also pay via bank transfer right so you can set up your bank information right here okay so what you do is just type in your bank account information right here and this will be able to send money to this account okay so um but that has been done let's, let's check out something okay let's say a client wants to buy a, a credit just like we said okay let's plug in to this um uh, back to our um back to our admin page okay back to our admin page once that's um you know, once a client has gone ahead to maybe make a purchase for any of the transactions it will appear right here okay and um, as an admin you you choose when the thing when it appears right here you as an admin you can choose to you know approve that particular transaction right so to do that you can see this is the um informations right let's see a user initiated a deposit these are the informations okay and you select you can select this to be pending you can select to be completed let's say you put that completed right here you click on save okay this particular user now will be you know um be able to get more credits so he or she can list more of his or properties right so this is really awesome on the consult um, page there are also so so many feature right here okay so because of time i won't i won't be explaining all this because there are a lot of information right here so let me just go to the most important ones on the settings section you also get to set up you know the the site's informations when you click on general you can be able to just on the general section you set up informations right here this way put in the admin email um also the time zone and um, you can set that up right here same goes um um same goes for the under the settings yeah so when you come to the email this way you also set up your email information your mail information and the rest of them right so take your time and set up this to the right informations okay on the domain just put in your domain name and um your sender's name and the rest of them okay just make sure you take your time and go through this there's so so awesome features right here right so um on the accounts on the accounts page this is where you get to view the number of accounts that are currently on your site right so you can choose to delete this user or you know edit some information about this user right so this is really awesome you can also view a lot of information about this user right so this is so so awesome this is so so awesome so quickly on how to set up this site the first thing you need to do as usual is to get your domain one hosting and uh, i normally recommend um could be swell if you want to purchase a domain one hosting just click on the link below this youtube video you get to see the com the hosting company you can go ahead and purchase your domain name from here make sure you use my link on the description box so you get um a kind of um, um a slash price when getting your domain hosting so first thing you want to do is just come here and type in the name of your the name you like to use let's say it's real real bbt at uh um oh sorry real bbt.com 
Dots.com. When you, when you search that, let's see if this domain name is available. Okay, this domain name is available, right? This domain name is available. You can add this to cards. Once you have added your domain name to cards, the next thing you want to do is to add a web hosting to it, right? So to do that, just come down to explore packages. This ad, you can see add web hosting. You can go for the shared hosting. Make sure you go for the shared hosting, right? So you can start with the um, lower plan. Okay, the first plan you can see use a domain already added to my shopping cart. Yes, I want to use the one I already added, so I will just select the use button. I'll click on use. I will be taken to a section where I'll pay for my you know, domain I'm hosting. When I click on continue now, I'll be asked to initiate payments, right? Okay, so you can pay actually, you can pay with your card information and the rest of them. Okay can pay with you but firstly you need to have an account you, have, you need to have an account okay make sure you create an account or else you won't be able to you know uh, initiate this particular um, transaction right you need to have an account first so that's it that's it once you have successfully purchased your domain and hosting you'll be given access to your cpanel login details which comes with a username and password and also an a url on how to login okay so when you successfully log into your cpanel this is what the cpanel dashboard looks like if you have any question just chat on the number display on this video i will guide you through on how you can be able to you know process all this right so when you are successfully logging to your cpanel the first thing you want to do is just come down to your file manager right so on the file manager section you scroll down to um your public underscore html okay the file that i'm going to give you at the end of this video please upload directly on your public underscore html but this i'm using this for a tutorial video i will upload on my subdomain that i've already created before so i'll just go ahead and click on this subdomain which is this but i've already uploaded so this sub the software already okay but in your own case what you do is just go to upload okay just go to upload and select file and um the software which i'm going to give you which is this uh where is it flesome yeah this is it flesome larava um restate when you click on that just click on it and click on upload the file will start loading up make sure it turns again before you exist okay so once you have successfully uploaded it the file will not appear like this right so what you do is just select this and extract files okay extract directly on your public contact html um, so we can see what we have right here okay we have successfully extracted our file so let's reload this to see what we have awesome so when you open up this folder if you open the folder right here you go to main okay this is the main files of the site um, of the scripts right so you you move all this to your let's move this to our subdomain yours will be you you move this to your public contact html please right so i'll now go ahead and click on move files i've moved my files right i've done that so let me, let's go back let's go back to see what we have okay sorry so let's open this you can see we have been able to move the files that are right on our subdomain so the next thing you want to do is to create a database we need to create a, a database for our site so to do that just search sql wizard okay the first one so we can name our database um you can use real estate you can use real estate they say this is the name we want to use for our database name right so we click on next okay this i want to use the same name okay for the password you can use this password generator to generate any password that you want to write use right so you can just use but i already have a password i want to use so i'll open up my uh notepad and uh, this is the password i want to use so i'll copy this right here sorry i'll copy this right here and paste my password right here okay make sure you copy out your password after you have you know 
provided it because you're gonna use, need it so the next thing you want to do is you click on create user okay when you have created the user this is the user information and the, the user database name and the the database name itself you know you copy that out so make sure you copy this out because we're gonna need all these informations okay so i will paste that right here okay so the next thing you do is you select all privileges and click on next okay that's been done let's go ahead and um, upload our site to see what we have let's upload our site to see what we have oh sorry about that okay so let's open up our site oh sorry about that oh i made a mistake i made a mistake while copying our site this should be ssb Wait, let me be very sure so i won't do any mistake let me be very sure so i won't make any mistake right so this is our domain name this is our subdomain name right so back to that copy this this is the right this is the right information so i'll paste that right here okay so it takes you to, to this installation page so let's go ahead and install this you click on let's go all right so um you can see what we have our uh, permissions are correct so we go ahead and click on configure environment okay then on the configuration environment section this is where you put in the site that so that you want to use your correct here all and um be very sure about that okay so once that has been done you put in your database name right here okay so um we already have our database name that we want to use so here is it i'll go ahead and copy this i'll paste that right here so for the database password oh oh sorry i also use the name for my database name right so let me also paste that here for database names so for the database password we we, we we are going to copy this we copy this your database password that we that you use why didn't they why creating your database right so you paste that right here so once that has been done you cross check and go ahead and click on install okay you can see you have successfully done that so on this section what you do is now create your admin account this way you create your admin account right so to do that let's say you want to use um, for the username okay let's say you want to use this for the admin name right so i'll just paste this but put in the name you want to use you put in your this where you put in your admin mail this admin mail this is the information you use to log into your admin end don't forget so you put in the password you want to use so let's say this is the password i want to use right i'll now go ahead and um, click on create you can see install successfully so let's load up our site to see what we have okay you can see install successfully click here to exist all right so you can see we have been able to this has taken taken us straight to our admin end right our admin end is our domain name subdomain name slash admin slash login right so this is, and this you can see this is the information that i provide while doing the registration i can go ahead and sign in with this information boom you can see i'll be taken straight to the admin end so let's let's see let's see let's see what the home page will look like let's see our home page to so to see what we have when we paste that right here this takes us to their home page this is really awesome hope you have seen that right so if you need the um softwares that we are using in developing these sites right what you do is click on the number display on your screen right here click on the number display on the, you can chat me up on my whatsapp that's my whatsapp number 
or you click on the link below this video's description to purchase the software that was used in developing the site okay so that's it if you have any question or any you can drop that on the comments um section if you have any question okay if you need any kind of site any kind of scripts you can chat me up hit me up on my number on my whatsapp number okay i will be able to attend you more faster okay and answer your questions any kind of site any kind of modification that you want you can reach out to richie digital agency okay so thank you guys and um don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel don't forget to subscribe we drop awesome content like this okay like share and you know turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out so thank you guys and i will see you on the next one